movement, your hand movement, and you have to practice and to repeat because of the accuracy of your hand movement. Now a star. This is a sign of a star. It's uh, very easy. But if you speak of a constellation, uh, if you show the sky, you have to represent the stars like that. And you say that a constellation, you go from here to here, so it's possible to understand because you join two stars. So this means constellation. The stars is in evolution. <coughs> so you can have a nova. What is a nova? <coughs> It's something new since it's appeared. The news of today, the newspaper gives the news of today. So you take a star, new, and you have a nova. And if, by the way, it's a supernova, it's a star, new, big. <laughs> so for a variable star, it's obvious. You show the pulsation of the star. So the star is pulsating. So it can be a cephaid, as discovered by Woodrinker, uh, who was dead. The Milky Way, I go further. So Milky Way, Milky, it's uh, easy. This is the way with milk. So, by the way, you, the, in science language, the milk is the second finger and the Milky Way, because you take the milk from the cow, so the milk is the second finger. If you use the first one, that, you, that means that you fill your car with gasoline, <laughs> <laughs> so it's different, and of course never use it. <laughs> <laughs> even in Sang language. <laughs> <coughs> the galaxy. So the galaxy is very interesting about the accuracy of the sign. Because you have the, bul the bulge of the galaxy, and you have stars, dust, and gas all around. So you say the, nu the nuclei, the bulge, and everything around. If it's Saturn, you show the same center, and you show the ring <coughs> much accurate in your movements. This is Saturn. This is a galaxy. A black hole. More difficult because this sign didn't exist two centuries ago. So it's black, a hole. But you reversed. The science language is construed when you speak, like in German, you inverse, and moreover, the action is like in German, at the end. Ich bin gegangen. <coughs> this is the same in the sign language. So you say, whole, whole is like that, you can uh, use it. This sign and black. So black is peculiar because black, this is the color of black. But if you meet uh, a person from Africa, you cannot say, oh, you are black. <laughs> he will uh, shake you because it's wrong for right. A black person in Africa, this is like that. So you have black in every language. You have to take care of the meaning. You have some synonyms, but different signs for that. One of the most difficult uh, sign was to express a quasar. <coughs> so you, we are astronomers, so we know what is a quasar. A lot of energy in a very small uh, volume and uh, a very strong emission. So you put, it's small, it's full of energy, and it emits. But if you, f if you organize a conference on the quasar, every time you are going to speak of a quasar, you, are, you don't use the three signs. It's too much. So it's like in computing, 
you start your conference. I am going to speak. Uh, uh, my conference will, will be the quasar. A quasar, this is small, lot of energy and emission. Now, I name it Q, for example. And every time you are speaking for your conference, you say, the quasar, <laughs> and this is a kind of alias, like in computing. It's very easy. You have just to put that. And for the duration of your conference, Q is not a letter. Q is a quasar. And the expansion of the universe. So the universe, this is the letter U, which describes the universe. And of course, you have the movement of expansion, which is very easy. If you go further to, uh, to describe, for example, the, the most recent model of universe, the evolution of the universe is a big bang. It's not very easy. And especially if you have youngs, if you have no, non-astronomical persons, you have to adapt your pedagogy. For example, a model of the universe. Uh, you, I'm speaking about scale invariant. About uh, this is something very difficult even for us to when we make we construct universe model. So to say that something is representing is represented a different scale, but the same thing. So if you have boys, if you have kids, you can make a joke like that. This is the most obvious invariant, or oh, this is the same in Spanish. And you have the invariant at different scale, so you can use this picture to explain after with your hands uh, what you are talking about. And you can also, for example, using a trick to, uh, to describe the history of the universe, you 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 condense it and, and you, you explain what happens if the Big Bang was starting for the new year and finishing at the end of the, this year. So you have for different period what happens on the 13th of September, the formations of the solar system, 